you've seen what you need to see up until this point in preseason. Um, so my question is, how did the position battles before the start center and the backup point guard kind of shake out? They're going, it's going great. Do you declare who's starting tonight at center? Uh, oh, who's starting tonight? Yeah, Gaff starting tonight. On Thursday. I can only talk about t today, tonight, and so that's as far as we're gonna go. With the uh, with the players out injured, other than Dante, is there any concern with any of those that the injury might linger to next Thursday? No. Am I worried? No, no, we're not worried. I think. Uh, Maxie included. Everybody's trending uh, in the right direction. Everybody's uh, doing everything they're supposed to be doing. Um, as I think we talked about Luca, uh, first practice yesterday was Luca. Look good. Um, and then Max is doing everything he's supposed to. And I think here, uh, hopefully, we get him into some contact and um, and we continue to keep trending, uh, you know, in the right direction with our health. What are you most wanting to get out of tonight? Health. Healthy. That's it. I don't care who shoots it or who throws it in the stands. This is about health. Because um, we have been unhealthy up, up to this point. So, um, health. Jason, is there anything that we should look at with regard to Hardy's performance in the preseason, the, the points, the shooting, et cetera, that are good um, evaluation points for what might translate to regular season games? Yeah, I think he's uh, leading the team in minutes. Um, and so uh, you can see his growth. Uh, and from the last three years, he's continues to keep working on his game. And we're going to ask him to, to not, uh, you know, stay. He's got to stay hungry. And I think that's what he's been doing here of late. Uh, again, being able to uh, average over four assists. Uh, we all know that he can score. And uh, he, he's a guy that can shoot it. So the next step was to be able to, you know, find teammates and set the table. And I think he's done that, you know, really well for us uh, here in preseason. And we're going to need that uh, throughout the season. Sometimes we, we say that, you know, some preseason games don't really mean a lot. But I'm guessing for guys like Gordon, the two-way guys, and a few others who are actually fighting for a job, uh, it's a lot more important than, than people might think. Yeah, I think uh, that's, you know, that is true uh, when you talk about job uh, security or, or fighting for a, a roster spot. Um, the 15 roster spots that we have are all taken, and so now it comes down to the two ways. And then if you look at it a little deeper, it becomes the E10 signees that you can have, uh, you know, for your G League team. So. Um, there is a lot, you know, at stake for, for those guys um, that will, you know, play in the fourth quarter. Uh, but also those guys have done their work up to this point, and now it's, you know, between management and uh, and their agents to try to figure that out. Jason, I have a bit of an elaborate question to ask. Uh, you you talked a lot in these press conferences about, you know, we just got to get through it and be healthy. And you have the experience in your career as a player and as a coach of what it's like to play into June to have a short off season to come back and you can't just fast forward to where you were last year and be in the playoffs. You got to go through all of that again. How do you like kind of manage and balance all of that at this time of the year to be in the right frame of mind to play big games, important games next week, but also, you know, keep yourself healthy and that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, I think um, when, we're, when I say healthy, I, it's the truth. I mean, you know, we want to start off with, Everyone, you know, participating. We, we would not like Luca or anyone to miss, you know, the beginning of the season. And so um, health is a big thing, especially, you know, when you play to June. Um, and so uh, hopefully we, by the 24th, we're healthy and ready to go. But um, we're not talking about last season. That's over. Um, we've turned that, that book is closed. Now we have to step forward and, and create that chemistry, that trust. Um, and that hunger to go out and, and defend home court. Um, all our little, you know, uh, tiny goals. Um, the big goal is to win a championship, but the tiny ones we got to achieve first. And so um, playing hard, playing for one another and, and protecting each other 
and you know sharing the ball, not over dribbling. Um, but when your two quarterbacks are out, you're going to have you know we had 29 turnovers, but that's you know for us our standards to be a championship organization. Um, no matter who puts on that uniform, we can't have 29 turnovers. So. Um, again, yesterday's practice was really, really good, and now can we have that carryover to the game? Um, but again, being judged uh, with or without our star players, that's just the nature of this business. But for us, it's just about you know focusing on the little things and building um, on this path or this journey that we're about to, to embark on. But last year, we, we can't fast forward to last year, because if we do, we lose again. We lost. And so uh, we got to learn from that, from our experience, and, uh, and, and make sure that if we happen to be back in that situation, we know what we have to do um, to win a championship, and hopefully we'll have that opportunity. Obviously, Doc Rivers joined the Bucks midway through last season. He got a full offseason with the team. Can you just speak to the value in being able to get that with your team going into the season? Yeah, that's tough to, you know, as we talk about players, you know, halfway or during the trades, uh, but to see a coach – that, that's that's really hard, and I thought Doc did it as well as a job that anyone can do. Um, but now to have um, summer and then also your training camp, um, he can get his system in, um, and he's one of the best coaches in this league. And so uh, Milwaukee will be another team fighting for that championship this year. Coach Kidd, when you're evaluating how Gortman has played over these first three preseason games, what would you say – is the most translatable skill if he was to be someone to stick around that you've liked the most from his game? Uh, his competitiveness. When you talk about Jazz, uh, you know, you, you look at what he's uh, where he started this summer to where he has uh, where he is today. His growth. Uh, he's worked extremely hard. Uh, he's done everything we've asked him to do, and so um, you know, just to see his growth, um, to see his his ability to uh, play with with stars. Or play against stars, and so uh, it's been fun to coach him. But also, it's just it's been great to see you know someone's you know young put in the work um, and, and have some success. Uh, do you expect some of the starters to play like a little more than they maybe have in the last couple games? Um, yeah, you know, Kai wants to play forty eight minutes. Uh, Clay wants to play forty eight minutes, um, but we'll see. Um, We'll see if those guys can touch the fourth quarter. Um, you know, I thought P.J. coming off the injury and uh, doing the things that he did in 20 minutes, I think. Uh, we'll see if we can get him between 20 to 25 minutes. Um, but the biggest thing is uh, I started off with is our health. Uh, and we, we do believe that we're ready to go um, <laughs> uh, as, the, as the week goes on. But, again, um, we'll see. The centers will, will flip-flop six minutes. Uh, I thought I saw enough of what Gaff did in the uh, Clipper game. I didn't need to put him back out there. Um, and so, uh, again, Gaff is playing well, so we'll give him the start tonight and uh, see how he handles that. And uh, But fourth quarter, we'll, we'll make that decision when the fourth quarter comes. But mostly the fourth quarter will be the two ways in the E-10s um, for them to, uh, to get some work in. Coach, you mentioned Gafford. Thought about Lively's performance so far in the preseason? Yeah, I think both of them have been well. They're both playing well. Um, they both do things differently, but again, defensively, um, those two, I, I thought Gaff, the chase down blocks, um, his extra effort was at a high level uh, for a preseason game, um, but also understanding what we talk about as a team, and I thought he did, you know, demonstrated that. Um, D Live has been. Has, Live his ability to you know rim run and protect the the basket is has been really good, um, but when one of the quarterbacks or both quarterbacks are out, um, the game can be a little difficult at times for those two. But uh, as as we've seen in practice and as we go forward, when the quarterbacks are in, um, they look good.